Hello and welcome to Storytime with Susan. Today we're going to read Gary by Leela Rudge, published by Walker Books. Gary by Leela Rudge. Read to you by Susan Burke. Most of the time, Gary was just like the other racing pigeons. He ate the same seeds, slept in the same loft, and dreamt of adventure. But on race days, when the pigeons set off in the travel basket, Gary stayed at home. To pass the time, he organised his scrapbook. He had a collection of travel mementos from everywhere. Except Gary had never been anywhere, because Gary couldn't fly. The racing pigeons usually returned just before supper, and they always discussed wind directions and flight paths or waypoints. Gary loved hearing about their adventures. He would perch nearby and record everything in his scrapbook. Until one night, Gary leaned a little too far and lost his balance. His scrapbook flew up into the air. Gary fell down to the bottom of the loft and they both landed in the travel basket with a bump. The next day was race day and Gary was a very long way from home. By the time Gary woke up, the sky was full of feathers and flapping wings. The racing pigeons were racing, except Gary didn't go anywhere because Gary couldn't fly. Soon the other pigeons were dots in the distance. They were flying back to the loft. Gary wondered if he would ever find a way home or if he would be lost in the city forever. Gary's collection of travel mementos always perked him up. So he opened up his scrapbook. Gradually, the city came to feel a little more familiar, and Gary felt a little less lost. Before long, Gary had plotted his own way back to the loft. Gary arrived just before supper with all sorts of new travel mementos for his scrapbook and the most adventurous adventure story. Gary couldn't fly, but Gary had been everywhere. Most of the time, Gary was just like the other racing pigeons. He ate the same seeds, slept in the same loft, and dreamt of adventure. But on some days, the other pigeons were just like Gary. And that's the end of the story.